The calibration process is simple and takes about two minutes. You should calibrate your smart tool if it has dropped or temperatures changed by over 20 degrees difference since last calibration. The instructions work for the module, the 24 inch or the 48 inch level. You cannot hurt the level electronics. If you make a mistake, just turn the level off and start over. First, you need to find a semi-level horizontal surface. It does not have to be perfectly level. Use a table or the floor. Begin with the smart tool powered on and facing you, with the LCD display up. After display stops changing, allow 10 seconds to be safe. Carefully press and hold the Calibrate button until Cal 1 shows on the display. The display will continue to flash, showing the angle. Next, turn the smart tool end for end, so it is facing away from you, still with the LCD display up. After display stops changing, carefully press and hold the Calibrate button until Cal 2 shows on the display. The display will stop flashing and will show the angle. Now, place the smart tool upside down. Turn it so it is facing toward you with the LCD display down. After display stops changing, Carefully press and hold the Calibrate button until Cal 1 shows on the display. Lastly, turn the Smart Tool end for end so it is facing away from you, still with the LCD display down. After display stops changing, carefully press and hold the Calibrate button until Cal 2 shows on the display. This completes the horizontal calibration. Now you are ready for the vertical calibration. Start the vertical calibration by finding a semi-vertical surface, such as a doorway or wall. Remember the surface does not have to be perfectly vertical. Place the Smart Tool on the vertical surface. Turn the Smart Tool so it is facing toward you, with the LCD to the bottom right. After display stops changing, carefully press and hold the Calibrate button until Cal 1 shows on the display. Still on the vertical surface, turn the Smart Tool so it is facing away from you with the LCD to the bottom left. The end of the Smart Tool that was at the bottom should still be at the bottom. After display stops changing, carefully press and hold the Calibrate button until Cal 2 shows on the display. Keeping it on the vertical surface, turn the Smart Tool so it is facing toward you with the LCD to the top left. The end of the Smart Tool that was at the bottom in the previous two calibrating steps should now be at the top. After display stops changing, carefully press and hold the Calibrate button until Cal 1 shows on the display. Finally, still on the vertical surface, turn the Smart Tool so it is facing away from you with the LCD to the top right. The end of the Smart Tool that was at the top should still be at the top. After display stops changing, carefully press and hold the Calibrate button until Cal 2 shows on the display. Congratulations! You have just returned your smart tool to the factory preset accuracy.